Hey guys, SR here with more Rockman X Dive and Model Kits! Oh yeah, this one should be really exciting, so let's get into it. The dive news is gonna go by really quick because it's just a short teaser trailer. Take a look for yourself! That's right, every Battle Network fan's wet dream has finally come true. Well, technically it came true with EXE 4.5, but still. Base EXE is the newest playable character coming to Rockman X Dive, and he's going to be that one week middle of the event banner alongside Mega Man and Proto Man. It's been a little while since we had a surprise middle of the event banner, so suffice to say, hope you didn't spend all your medals on trying to get Proto Man. That said, since it is part of the EXC collaboration event, they should be a permanent character, so don't worry too much if you don't get him this week. Which is funny when you consider that Bass is a pretty big deal, he's like one of the most popular EXC characters. So you would think he of all people would have been Dive Fest, but nope. I mean heck, I thought he was going to be a boss before a playable character. Dive said nope, we're going right to playable this time. And yeah, it makes sense, like I said, really the big three popular characters from EXE was Mega Man, Proto Man, and Base, and maybe Colonel, which will probably come at some point. But yeah, now that they got the big three out of the way, now they can start doing the other EXE characters like Roll and such whenever they get back around to the EXE series. Only other thing I have left to say about this is that, isn't it funny that we got EXE Base before Classic Base? Like, I know the EXE variation is more popular than the classic counterpart, but man, classic base got the short end of the stick. Let's do a little experiment, shall we? Let's type Mega Man Base into Google Images, and let's see how fast we find base EXE. When we find him, our experiment is over. Ready? Go. And there he is. You laugh when you see it. Anyways, Base EXE will be coming to Rockman X Dive this upcoming Wednesday, and we should get more details on this moveset and everything as the week progresses. So stay tuned and save up your medals if you want them. In previous news, may as well talk about this because I didn't get the cover earlier last week, but they did show off Protoman EXE's moveset. It consists of Sonic Boom and Step Sword, which is very fitting for him. He also has a chance of being immune to defense reduction statuses, and hey, he gets melee mastery at 3 star too, that's not too bad for an S rank. As for his intro, it's similar to Mega Man's, except it's Chad talking to Proto Man. Well, he doesn't actually talk because all of these voice clips are taken from Operation Shooting Star in Battle Network 5 Double Team DS. And Cha didn't really have any voice lines in those games, so they had to do with the cards they were dealt there. Yeah, seriously, Mega Man, Proto Man, and Colonel got the full set of voice lines in Double Team DS, but not the latter two's operators for whatever reason. Probably because they weren't exactly playable, but you know. Still, it makes me wonder what Basis intro animation is going to look like, because he doesn't really have an operator unless you count Dr. Cossack. I would imagine a lot of the navvies would have the similar thing with their operators popping up in a window, but Base is a loner so he should be a lot different. Meanwhile in our recap, Dive did reveal that they did add the Rockman EXC cards to the game. So yeah, they're not limiting the card system to just the X series, now they're going to have the EXC series as well. We got a lot of the operators like Chod as S rank cards. The navvies are A rank cards like Number Man, Color Man, Guts Man, and Fire Man that you see here. And the viruses are typically B rank cards. So that's something at least. It looks like they are going to be adding other series cards as they start adding more. That means Star Force too whenever they get around to that. That should be exciting. We really are heading towards that Rockman Cross Dive reveal, right? <laughs> that does it for the dive recap, so now let's talk model kits. Uchi-san from Rockman Unity along with Kotobukiya recently held a Rockman X Model Kit Talk Live version 2 and they had a lot to reveal this time unlike the first one. Since 4 Farmer X is about to come out in January, they did reveal the final art designs for them and they look stunning as usual. 
and they're really going all out for the Rising Fire variants of X and Fourth Bomber X because man they look so good! That Rising Fire Normal X one, I would totally just take that and make a poster out of it. It is that amazing. Speaking of that Rising Fire variant, we did get to see the full color final version of the 4th Armor Rising Fire version. And it is indeed looking pretty fire. They even have a photo showcasing the ability to mix and match parts from the regular Rising Fire X with the 4th Armor version. Just like you could with the Max Armor kit. Very nice. However, the big event is definitely the new model kit announcement coming out of the show. First up is the 10th model kit in the Rock Band X line. And yes, it's another X armor. Sax Nation rise up because it's second armor X from Mega Man X2. Yeah, they went backwards instead of forwards this time. Now we're just missing first armor X, aka Fax to complete the SNES trilogy and the X1 to X4 line of X armors. So yeah, despite Kotopukiya saying in the past that they do want to do characters other than X and Zero, they seem to be really prioritizing creating the entire set of X armors, which I'm not exactly complaining about. We did have an X2 statue recently, but this is going to be the first like proper model kit for second armor X. Oh, except for this retro figure that Capcom released in 1994. Boy, we've sure come a long way since then, haven't we? So, that's pretty exciting to me. And I do eventually want to collect all the X-Armors in figure form, so that's one step closer. As for Saxy Boy himself, the kit is going to come with multiple hands like the previous one. And they have a new face for this one, which is his injured face. No, don't do that to my boy. He suffered enough as it is, Capcom. Even in prototype form, Sax is looking awesome though, as usual. We don't have a price or release date for him yet. In the meantime, you can pick up 4 Farmer X as he is going on pre-order next month. That will do it for today's Rockman X model kit news, so we're just gonna get back to playing Rockman X Dive now and... Uh, wait, uh... Hold on. I think I'm getting a call on my PET. Let me check that real quick. My god. If I didn't wake up to this news and my notifications, I probably would have had the same reaction as Uchi-san on the stream. Because oh boy, it looks like I have another thing to collect, and that's the Rockman EXE model kits. Oh boy! Yep, after tackling the classic Zero and X series, Kotopukiya is now ready to jack in to the cyber world for the EXE model kits. And the first one is, of course, Mega Man himself. He's gonna come with all the parts you would expect by now, like the hands and the cyber sword, but he's also gonna get effect parts for the life sword program advance. That's not all though, because in classic Kotobukiya fashion, we're also getting a variant, and it's Dark Mega. No images of Dark Mega yet, but he is coming with a Metar. Aw, that's cute, I want one. And yeah, here's Mega Man EXE and the Metar in their prototype form. Looking pretty good so far. And as usual, I'm looking forward to seeing these and Second Armor X in full color. 2021 is definitely looking up with the addition of the EXE line, that's for sure. Hey, I'm telling you guys, next year is the 20th anniversary of the Battle Network series and Capcom is getting right on that so hard. We haven't even hit 2021 yet, we've already got all these collaborations, and now the model kits? Bro, that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. 
especially with the recent announcement that they are including English partners in the 20th anniversary celebrations. It's going to be a big year for Battle Network. Get ready for it. Even Ochi-san appears to be getting ready for that big year for Battle Network because he does have the EXE emblem patch on his arm now. Hmm. Let's just hope all that hype does lead up to something cool like a legacy collection. Or even better, one could dream at least. Both Second Arm Ranks and the EXC model kit are coming next year. And that will do it for today's news roundup. Guys, which of these model kits are you most looking forward to? And will you be wailing for base EXC and Rockman next time? Let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. For more on Mega Man, stay tuned to Shadowrock DX. And we will see you next time, especially on Wednesday for the X Dive stream. Until then, rock on and have a rising fire day.